Here we'll be taking a look at the product rule. It's a formula used to find the derivative of a function, that is the product of two other functions. So here are some examples of when you'd use the product rule. So here you can see in the first one, the function is made up of the product of two functions. In other words, it's one function multiplied by another. So 3x squared minus 7x, that's one function multiplied by 5x minus 2, another function. So when you have two functions multiplied, you use the product rule to differentiate them. Here are the steps for applying the product rule. First you identify u and v, then you differentiate them to get du dx and dv dx. And finally you sub in u, v, du dx and dv dx in the formula to find dy dx. Once you've subbed for those values, you simplify the equation to get a final answer. So we'll take an example of that. Here we have a function which is the product of two functions. So you have 3x squared minus 7x, one function, multiplied by 5x minus 2, another function. So our first step is to identify u and v. So it's u multiplied by v. So we'll take u as 3x squared minus 7x, and we'll take v as 5x minus 2. Next, we differentiate these to get du dx and dv dx. So if we differentiate u, get du dx. So 3x squared, when we differentiate that, we get 6x. Minus 7x, you get minus 7. Differentiate dv dx. 5x differentiates to 5. And minus 2, the constant, differentiates to 0. So that's the first two steps completed. Next, we have to sub in our values into the formula. So on the right is u, v, du, dx, and dv, dx, which we've just figured out. So we're just going to sub them into our formula for the product rule. So we have u by dv, dx. So u is 3x squared minus 7x. dv dx is 5. v is 5x minus 2. And du dx, 6x minus 7. So next we just complete our multiplication. So we have 3x squared by 5 gives us 15x squared. Minus 7x by 5 gives us minus 35x. On this side, we have 5x by 6x gives us 30x squared. 5x by minus 7 gives us minus 35x. Minus 2 by 6x gives us minus 12x. And minus 2 by minus 7 gives us plus 14. So with the multiplication completed, we complete any addition or subtraction. So we have 15x squared plus 30x squared gives us 45x squared. Just cross them off as you go along. Minus 35x minus 35x. It's minus 70x minus 12x gives us minus 82x. And then we have our plus 14. So that's our sum completed.